Hello, my name is Sarah Cunnington. Welcome to my Friday devotionals, drawn from the Word. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1.18 my daughter Ellie and I have a habit of phoning or messaging each other on a daily basis. But in March 2020, during the first of the COVID-19 lockdowns, this contact became even more precious. One day, we talked about something that nearly everyone seemed to be doing at the time, sorting. Sorting cupboards, wardrobes, pantries, lofts, basements, even garages. We were all stuck at home facing the fact that most of us possess too much stuff. So when we ask ourselves whether we really need to keep this or that, very often the honest answer is no, it's got to go. However, in this particular case, there was a problem, a big problem. All the recycling centres were shut. The collection bins on the street corners were overflowing. The jumble sales were cancelled and the charity shops were closed. So what could we do with all the black plastic sacks stacking up in the guest room, lined up along the corridor, piled behind the sofa and stuffed under the beds? We shifted them from A to B, jumped over some, wove our way around others, but mainly we just had to put up with them. I was reminded of the first gospel message I heard well over 40 years ago. I'd been invited to sing at a special anniversary service and the guest speaker was a local vicar named Ken Griffin, a real man of God who was also very down to earth. He spoke of the work of the cross using a powerful and to me surprising image. He said it was like a big black plastic rubbish bin where we could dump all our sins and our burdens. Then we could leave them there at Jesus' feet, confident in the knowledge that we were washed clean, purified by the blood he had shed for us. The image stuck with me and several months later I did exactly that and became a Christian. However, there can be a problem if we don't watch out. Very often we have a habit of going back and rummaging around in the rubbish bin in order to pick up our burdens again. We even pick up and dust down our old sins. It reminds me of my cousin's son when he was two years old. He drove his mother to distraction by his horrible habit of digging out old crusts of bread or banana skins from the bin in the kitchen and then he'd munch on them. It almost makes me gag to think of it. Here's another nasty thought. However hard we might try to deal with sin ourselves, Inevitably, our lives will end up looking like the inside of a hoarder's house. We simply do not have the power to deal with the truly horrible nature of sin on our own. We might just about manage to haul it to the front door, but we cannot get it outside. The only thing we can do is admit that we can do nothing that we need help. This is the first and most important step, but we need to follow it through by asking Jesus Christ to come in and finally deal with the problem. Then, and only then, do we have access to what is already a done deal, because Jesus took upon himself all our sins and all the punishment we deserve when he died on the cross. However, when we come to the cross in repentance, whether it's for the first time or the 50th, 
we must not only lay down our sins and burdens, but leave them there and not fish them out again.